So a few weeks back, I reached out on Twitter and asked if anyone is interested in participating in my next collab and I got over 100 emails within that day. So I went ahead and picked the first 10 instead. Well, actually the first 11, since I don't know how to count. Very much like my previous collab featuring Marquez and Austin and a bunch of really cool tech YouTubers, this time we're gonna be focusing on keyboards instead. Uh, there will be many more collabs like this, so if you guys wanna participate in my next one and have a YouTube channel, make sure you're following me on Twitter and be on the lookout for my next tweet regarding giveaways. Bruh. Also, you guys can find the links to everyone's channel that's featured in this video linked below, so make sure you check them out and subscribe if you enjoy their content. But without wasting any more time, let's begin. What's up, guys? My name is Kevin, and the keyboard that I use on a daily basis is the Logitech K400. It's not for everyone, but if you have a TV-based setup or just like to keep things minimalistic, you really can't go wrong with this. What sets this apart from others is the touchpad, and with that, we have the exclusion of a number pad, but I think it's really well worth the trade-off. It connects via a small dongle, which allows this keyboard to work on almost any device. Best of all, you can find this thing on Amazon for only around $30, which is a steal. Hey guys, Jack here from Nothing But Tech, and the keyboard I'm currently using on the daily is the DOS Keyboard X40. The X40 is a mechanical keyboard from the DOS Ultimates Gaming Series lineup. The version I have here offers tactile and audible switches, which is a must in any type of gaming keyboard for me. I also really dig its customizable plates and the red backlighting. It is a great addition to my setup and a must pick up for anyone with a red and black theme. Well, that's it for me. I hope to catch you guys in my next video. Thank you guys all for watching. What's up guys? My name is Julian Bright, and my keyboard of choice is the CM Storm quick fire rapid keyboard when I was first looking for a keyboard that fits my super minimalistic vibe this one definitely jumped out at me it looks super clean and doesn't have any unnecessary gimmicks which get in the way and make the keyboard look big and clunky also the keyboard is not wireless but I did add a hole in the desk for the cable to route through which makes your setup look way cooler the keyboard is mechanical and feels amazing when typing on mine, I'm rocking the Cherry MX Blue switches. Overall, this keyboard feels amazing, looks super clean, and if you're willing to deal with a few small things, like not having LEDs, then this is perfect for you. Thanks to Ed for having me on, and I hope to see all of you guys on my channel very soon. This is the Havid HV KB 380L keyboard. It is a mechanical style keyboard, as you can see. It has these awesome LED backlit keys and a super tough metal build. I'm obsessed with using this keyboard because how insanely responsive it is. Typing on it is super comfortable, super smooth, and it's gonna react quickly to every single keystroke. What's really cool about it and what I really like is that you can easily transition this from a regular daily typing keyboard to a gaming keyboard. Try playing some games on it and it's really impressive. I definitely recommend you guys check this out. Hey what's up guys, Dan here back at it again with another video. The Corsair K40 has been my keyboard of choice for about the past year and a half now and I've gotten to know it pretty well. The keys on this RGB keyboard are rubber dome and feel very similar to MX Brown switches, though slightly less clicky. It features anti-ghosting, though you do need to bottom out the keys for a keystroke to register. The keyboard isn't too loud, though I would say it's a little bit louder than average. At around 70 bucks, you can't really go wrong with the K40, though there are a plethora of other options that are much better for only 10 or 15 dollars more. So if you can save a few extra pennies, I would definitely recommend going with them. Hey guys, my name's Anton, and to script my own tech videos, I use the Logitech G810. The G810 is a gaming keyboard at heart, but it can transform into a professional and business-like keyboard. So it uses Romer G switches, which are pretty good for gaming. They kind of feel like Cherry MX Browns with a O-ring inside and a faster actuation. The G810 also has RGB lighting, which definitely puts on a hell of a show. Aside from fancy switches or lighting, it does do the simple things right, like nice multimedia buttons, a big scroll wheel, and programmable F keys. But it does come at a steep $160 price tag, so you have to see if it's worth it for your cause. Hey, what's up guys? Joker here. And this is my code keyboard with Cherry MX Clear switches. I use this keyboard as my daily driver because of its simple design and the great build quality. The clear switches are also extremely satisfying to type and game on. And if you're familiar with brown switches, they have the same design using the tactile bump, but are a little stiffer requiring 65 grams of actuation force. 
Lastly, the custom keycaps and signatures from fellow tech YouTubers that I got at Land Syndicate really do make this a one-of-a-kind keyboard. Hey guys, I'm Miles Somerville, and my keyboard of choice is the Perix PX3200 gaming keyboard. What I really like about this keyboard is the 12 programmable keys on each side, as well as the lengthy palm rest. And this keyboard is an essentially an all-plastic build, but it's very sturdy and certified rage-proof. The keyboard has LED backlit keys as well as a couple special keys including a Windows lock button. Now I'm not that big of a gamer, but with a sturdy build, solid typing experience, and even a headphone jack, this keyboard suits my needs perfectly. Thanks again to Ed for having me on this collab, and I'll catch you guys later. Yo, what's up guys, it's Suresh from Tech Devoted and the keyboard I use is the Devastator MB24. This keyboard actually comes as a part of the Cooler Master Storm Devastator gaming keyboard and mouse combo, but since we're only talking about keyboards today, let's put the mouse aside. I honestly cannot justify spending hundreds of dollars on a keyboard, so the main reason why I got this one is because of the value it offers for money. It comes in at $30 US and it looks great. As you may have already noticed, it's got blue LED lights and it looks really badass. The buttons are tactile and don't make a lot of noise. I'm not going to burn with the specifications of this keyboard because honestly I don't know what a lot of it even means but what I can tell you is this is one amazing keyboard for the price not to mention it also comes with that mouse last but not least a big thanks to Ed for having me on the show and I hope you have enjoyed hello everyone my name is Adam Ripples Vox and I actually rock two different keyboards so I rock the WASD or WAST code keyboard it's an 87 key keyboard with no number pad on the right hand side and it has cherry MX blue switches with LED backlighting on the keys themselves my other keyboard is the Genovation CP 48 48 key macro keypad that I have fully decked out and fully customized for Adobe Audition, Adobe Premiere, and Adobe After Effects, and Adobe Photoshop, uh, keyboard macros and shortcuts to do everything at basically one button press. So I have transitions, audio processing, various effects and things like that all set up. So that's all I have to do is hit one button and apply a lot of effects, which speeds up my editing efficiency greatly. You can check out that video up on my channel. Hey TechSource fans, my name is Justin and my favorite keyboard is the Apple wireless keyboard. It's not what might be considered a gaming keyboard, but it's what works best for me. What I love about it is the design and tight integration with OS X. The Chiclet keys provide just the right amount of feedback for a satisfactory typing experience. Not only that, but the addition of media controls is something I cannot live without as I am constantly listening to music while working. The keyboard definitely complements my setup and the battery life is also stellar. I can go for months of use before needing to replace the two AA batteries. Thank you so much, Ed, for having me on this episode. So that's it for the video. A huge thanks to everyone who participated. Uh, also, make sure to leave a like if you enjoy these collab style videos. And be sure to check out the talent. I'll leave their channels linked below, you guys. Uh, so basically, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in the next video.